We are at E3 2016 catching up on LEGO Dimensions and I gotta say, for a game that's not being a new release this year, you so sure have a lot to talk about. As we can see on the wall behind us, a lot of new things coming to, to LEGO Dimensions this year. Uh, where do we start, really? Uh, what, 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 what sort of what, with what, uh, con what, what sort of wish do you move into this year too? Um, well, the thing is, what we wanted to do uh, last year when we first came into Toys to Life was get everyone having a great experience with LEGO Dimensions with the starter pack and the accessory packs. Year two, when we were scratching our heads, it was like, what do we do now? And we just thought, let's go bigger. You know, bigger stories, bigger characters. You know, let's go big on the IPs. And so this year, we've got 16 new IPs. Um, everything from like Adventure Time through to Harry Potter, uh, the Goonies, A Team, Gremlins. So much great content. And as well, we've also added a new mode. So not only does everyone get the great adventure worlds and and the great levels and stories um, like in Year One, but we also have four-player multiplayer. And again, any character and any vehicle from any one of the packs in either year, you can put on the sorry, on the gamepad at any time, and they just all work together. So this year, it's just got a whole lot bigger. It's interesting also because you're treating obviously all these franchises differently, what kind of packs they're going to be included in and so on and so forth. What goes into that sort of decision? Because, I mean, I mean, you've got to limit yourself somehow because this is a lot of things to put into the game. Yeah, so, you know, we, when we look at each of the IPs, we look at, you know, how do we want to treat this IP? How do we want to, um, you know, really give it the, the, the most we can? So, say, take something like Goonies. You know, Goonies, we've got Sloth in there as the, as the uh, minifigure character. And we want to kind of retell the movie in a different way. So, that one will go into, say, a level pack. And then you'll have something like, uh, let's say, you know, A-Team, where you get the A-Team van and Mr. T, and that will go into a fun pack. So you'll get a cool, exciting A-Team adventure world and battle arena, um, and, and the, obviously you know, Mr. T and the A-Team van to, uh, to have fun with. But every pack is kind of, you know, we're doing the, the IP justice, and we're trying to make it as fun as we can for people that love LEGO Dimensions. And again, you know, there's a whole load of packs coming up, but with the year two ones, they're still going to work with the year one ones. And if someone hasn't got the starter pack, that's the only thing you need. You don't need a new game pad. You don't need a new starter pack. That one starter pack from year one, that is your entry point to LEGO Dimensions. And then you can get any of the toys from either year, you know, to just further your experience. I think it's interesting with, with Sonic because it's a video game franchise. How is it dealing with that and putting that into sort of the Lego Lego fight and, and, and getting that into it and what, what sort of packs can we expect from that? Well Sonic is like really exciting for us because obviously uh, at Traveller's Tales many many years ago we made Sonic R and we made Sonic 3D Blast so to be able to go back um, and explore that you know that Sonic universe is going to be so exciting. We haven't actually said the exact content of Sonic yet because we're kind of keeping that under wraps a little bit because that's like that's that's something that people are going to be super excited about. But to be able to go back and do you know some more work with our friends at Sega, it's really great. And and again, the little minifigure for Sonic, oh my god, so cool. You know, every single minifigure this year is unique and exciting, and and it's the only way you can get it. So if you want, say, Gizmo or, or Stripe from Gremlins, those minifigures have been designed specifically for LEGO Dimensions. And it, it really is something that, you know, fans of LEGO and fans of LEGO Dimensions are going to really find exciting when, you know, when they're playing Lumpy Space Princess or, you know, Jake or Finn. Really, really cool attention to detail from LEGO with every single one of these toys. Very cool. You also mentioned something called Story Packs. What, what's that and, and what does it add? Yeah, so this year we wanted to you know, make sure that we're giving people lots of choice and, and, and you know, lots of surprises. So we still have Fun Packs, Level Packs and Team Packs like Year One, but this time around we're add, adding Story Packs. Now, Story Packs are something a little bit different. You've got a couple of movies coming up on the horizon, so you've got Ghostbusters and you've also got Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. We're going to make story packs for those where you get the entire movie experience spread over six huge levels. You also get uh, an adventure world and also you get a battle arena. So that's the digital content, which is huge amount of content. But on top of that, you also get a new dressing for your gamepad. So if you're a fan of, of Fantastic Beasts, which everyone will be because trust me, it's going to be amazing. You are now going to be able to build a new portal onto your gamepad. You know, the same with Ghostbusters. These story packs are basically just us giving, you know, 
almost like a full game experience just for fans of those movie you know franchises as they come out so we're just trying to make sure that we're, we're getting our, our offering a lot bigger you know a lot more choice for people out there but again you can take any character from any year into those story adventures you know and and you know work around you can have Voldemort riding around in the DeLorean helping you on that Ghostbusters story so it's all really exciting I'm not going to make you rile up all the dates for all the packs and stuff like that, but could you give us sort of a, a general overview on when we can expect things to hit? Yeah, so, you know, the, the first packs from uh, year two, they're going to be arriving around September time, and then the packs will continue throughout, you know, the, the, the sort of like the following months from them. But those first packs in September, you'll see them, they've got the gold tags. You just, from then on, you can help, you know, kind of build your experiences with LEGO Dimensions, but any packs from year one that you just haven't got yet, they're still going to work. So September's when the new stuff comes out. So if you're you know, new to Dimensions, you know, now's the time to get a starter pack. Now's the time to start that journey. If you've already got a starter pack, that's all you need. And so when September comes, you can start you know, your new adventures with the new packs. Thank you so much for your time. Cheers. Thank you.